Hey, what's up, guys? Carlos here with Bulls of Crypto. Today's review will be an update on Loop Ring. Last update that we dropped was on February 19th. Uh, we said that this was going to continue to chop for a bit, which it did. Um, we were expecting a move sooner, but uh, from February 19th till basically April 1st is when they started to really set up that move. And uh, what I'm looking for here at the moment we have a bit of what's called an anchor set up here, and then we should have an inverted head and shoulders starting to play out here. If this is correct, then we should see a movement to the upside, possibly even to this dollar area to take out these previous highs that were uh, set February 12th. So we'll see how this plays out. That dollar area is my uh, pretty much area of interest at the moment. So I do feel that this will run pretty heavy. Um, I feel that the market in general in April will run heavier um, than normal as, as uh, these markets continue to uh, have more volume added to it based off these stimulus checks, based off taxes that are rolling in. Um, Bitcoin should continue to climb. It's uh, right under 59, um, but I do see Bitcoin hitting at least 75 during this cycle. Uh, probably even before the summer, before a bit of a cool down and a possible run. But Loop Ring does look like it is still um, pretty bullish. We do have a bit of uh, divergence here on RSI starting to paint out. So I, I do like how this is starting to uh, form. We have this divergence here uh, from March 6th to pretty much uh, January 11th. Um, and then RSI is pointing downwards, price action is pointing upwards. So this to me is, is signifying that this is gonna be a very bullish move. Typically you'll have a divergent pain out at the end of the trend. So remember the trend essentially is your friend. You wanna trade with the trend don't try to trade against it you can trade against it to grab pullbacks to, to to try to take out stops and so on but i like to trade with the trend it's just safer um and it's it's it really helps out just waiting um sometimes these moves can take about a month to really paint out um to to really trade sometimes you just got to sit on your hands and uh, take a trade maybe once every two weeks, once a month, you want to try to look for that weekly or that monthly move or even that yearly or quarterly move, which I believe is happening right now with these markets. We are having yearly and quarterly moves. So that's why I don't believe that this bull run is done. I feel that loop ring will run heavy. We're at the 54 cent area. I think that this run is going to be very, very heavy run, and we should hit this dollar area. So um, we'll see how this plays out, guys. If you have any projects you want to review, drop them in the comments. Again, more than happy to get that done for you guys. We have passed over 500 subscribers. Thank you guys for sharing, for uh, sharing this information with your friends, anyone that you know. Uh, thank you for all the comments, the likes, and of course, the subscriptions. Um, guys, if, again, you have any projects you want to review, drop them in the comments. And I'm more than happy to get that done. All right, guys, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, share, tell a friend. Until next time, peace.